Yeah, well, me and Bart's on this uh, on this album. It was uh, you just know what's going to happen. It's going to be you know like 20 hour days for the foreseeable future until it's how it should sound, and, and, and that's how it turned out. <laughs> We seemed to get caught up in this, this tidal wave of brilliant new music uh, and uh, a lot of it was kind of drawing on the combination of electronics and live stuff that we've been doing for a long time and uh, we just wanted to be a part of that. What we do and the way we do it is pretty unique. I think, you know, there's, there's some great live dance acts around. I think, you know, Friendly Fires are, you know, fantastic and they're really doing something. But I think the way that we combine electronics and and, and the way we can run you know, with real musicians on stage is pretty amazing. But there's no samples on the record at all, you know, so I think in a sense it was just, uh, it was going out with some really slightly odd machines in my basement and then bringing all the, all the kind of organicness from, from, from Andy's studio in there. That kind of, that week in my studio messing around with um, silly little machines and then moving over to France and bringing in the band, that was kind of, that was something that sort of defined in time. You know, that was something that's a little bit like Black Light. It's a lot more tracky, a lot more songy than anything we've done in the past, you know, I think some of the lyrics on, on this album are really strong and, you know, it's interesting because we've been gigging the album of late and it's, it's great, just playing it out live and sounding fantastic, what it's also sort of doing is, um, it's making all the old, older stuff we do sound really fresh, which is great. I think it's kind of run throughout the whole thing is, is um, the girl that's now on stage with us and, and, and become an absolutely integral part of, of the new Armada. She's called Saint Saviour. And she's, uh, she's revealed herself to be a complete sensation on the stage. And we've uh, never kind of three or four gigs here. And, uh, yeah, it's just all, all you ever hear is who's that girl. You know, I smelled the truth, but denied my instinct. Quite quickly after that was um, Nick Littlemore, the guy from Father's Son and Penal. Uh, he, he came into play and he just sort of said this little one minute idea back that was just kind of so brilliantly out there and unlike anything we'd ever have dreamt of, but uh, we had to get involved. We recorded with him in a, slightly, in a quite random studio, Pete Heller's uh, studio in Kentish Town. I don't know why we didn't let him know, but we did. He, I think he'd just broken up with his girlfriend or something, so we caught him in a kind of mix of like total emotional trauma. He's obviously quite good for songwriting, so there's, there's a particular track on there called Full Silent on the album, which, uh, when really, it's, it's, it's not even like, I mean, there, there are definitely words on there, but it's just the noises that he makes, the, the noises of just utter pain and devastation. That was a man going through, it's like a, it's a genuine breakup song. Brian Ferry's like, you know, he's kind of, uh, that whole sort of Roxy music thing just feels, it, 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 it's kind of unusual, but in a way it feels very sort of contemporary. It's a sound that I think is, you know, that sort of mixture of kind of fashion and, and sort of art and music that he does, is something that feels very sort of now in a way. Finally got to a point where this, this, this track was Shameless, which, um, it, you know, it's just, there's something about this, you know, we've sort of been lucky enough to work with a couple of sort of icons back in the day, and it's just kind of amazing when you get, a voice like that. It's classic crooning fairy. Yes, yeah, so the tune that I wrote, Neil, it features uh, Saint Saviour. Uh, it's kind of appropriate that the girl who's on the road with us and, and, and sort of leading the charge in the live show is also the voice of the, of the first single. Uh, it's a beautiful song and um, the, it's, a, it's a classic chorus lyric. And yeah, it's one of those, uh, it's one of those moments when it kind of it comes out reverse and just lands on this great kind of velvet cushion. And uh, when we do that live, it's, it's a lot of fun. The video is incredible. It just looks absolutely amazing. I think it's, it's just gorgeous and it totally suits the track. It's a great setup for her and, and, and you know, for, for introducing Becky, who's going to be you know, a big part of the show for the next year. I, 
I don't know, motivation is when it all comes down to, you know, I think when, even though we, we sort of have a heartache, you know, have a rouse, I still think we both sort of fundamentally enjoy it and really love doing it and wouldn't want to be doing anything else. It's kind of, once you commit to this record, it, I don't, I think it's both, I think it's taken us by surprise, like how intense the process has been. But this album's been sort of utterly collaborative in a way, so we've both done a huge amount of travelling because Anne lives in France, I live in the UK. Now we're kind of not on a major label and we're, we're doing it with a group of people that we really respect and we're doing it on level. That's, in a way, it just, it, it does feel like a, like a, like a totally fresh start and feel utterly committed to it as a result. Sometimes.